this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft snapshot. We are in 13W37B this week, and there's a lot of new features, I don't want to spoil those. Uh, but first I want to talk also about 1.6.3. Uh, the pre-release came out for that today, so we'll probably be getting that in a week. And uh, the big fix is also one that's going to be in 1.7 as well, uh, that's in the snapshot. It's uh, structures like witch huts, uh, nether fortresses, etc. They weren't getting saved with the world fi uh, file, so there are a lot of issues with that. But uh, that has been remedied, so we're going to get a fix for that. I was hoping we would get maybe some lag fixes for zombies and horses and stuff, but it seems like 1.6.3 is just going to fix this one bug, but it's still a good thing. Uh, while we're flying around this mesa here, I also want to show you, they actually went through and changed the way mesas generate, and I've got a few screenshots you're seeing now to compare. Uh, the first one will be the old generation, and the other is the new. They removed some of the thickness of the orange layers, it seems. Uh, that's, that seems to be the main change, and it makes them look a bit more natural, not a little too colorful like they were before. I still like the like red and yellow and stuff at the top, so I'm glad they didn't change that. And now that we're back in here, you're going to see one of the other huge features that Dinnerbone added. Uh, portals can now be uh, anywhere from five or 4x5 five to 23x23, by 23, and you can see this is a 23x23 23 23 portal here, and it is insane. You can do some really cool stuff. I've got a little creeper design here, which uh, you can accomplish by making another portal layer in between, and then I just kind of filled it in on each side to make it look like that's part of it. Uh, so you could build a big portal like this and then design something around it. Like over here, I've got a little Tetris screen. It looks like it's raining. Uh, a little Tetris game going on with the ice there because uh, the way ice works, the transparency doesn't allow to see something else behind it. So it kind of meshes weirdly with that, but you, you can block out parts of the portal and make some really cool designs. I'm going to fly through here to show you. I already got some pigmen coming through. But uh, on the other side here, you can see that the, the portals uh, only generate tiny portals on the other side, which is kind of strange. Uh, they won't generate the same size, probably so it doesn't just destroy the nether when someone makes a huge portal. But you can make all these little designs. As you can see, there's like three portals over there. They have to be rectangular in size, but they can, uh, they can be pretty big, as you can see. Let me break this here. So this is a giant uh, room that I made of obsidian, and if I light this up, you can make like portals go in different directions, and it's crazy. It'll uh, it'll stretch them over really strangely, but you can see all these particles flying around. I could see like a really cool mini game where someone's like doing portal generation. You're trying to like light a portal and get somebody else to go through it and everything. And speaking of the lighter, uh, here's a little bug fix for you. The lighter will now make a sound and light of the creeper when you ignite it if you right click on him. So it'll make your hand move, do a little click, and then it'll make the creeper light and ignite and, and blow up like so. So yeah, the portal thing's really cool. You can't intersect portals that I found because I tried to do that over here and that doesn't seem to be working. But this does open up a lot more, at least for designs, and you can make some huge portals as you can see. So some of the other really cool stuff, uh, they've added a ton of new commands and fixed some of the old ones. So the chat has a ton of new commands now, uh, such as being able to do things like this. This is a very a kind of a complicated command, but you can do stuff like, there's all of it in there in the text if you want to recreate it. But this will basically make this colored text in here, and now I can click, let me look up at the sky as I do this, I can click on these little links here, and it will do commands. So I can either make it nighttime or daytime very easily. Same thing over here with game mode, I can do that. This one's not colored, but I can do survival and I can do creative very easily in my options there, so that's pretty cool. Um, some of the other things here, you can do this too, this is another command that I'll show you, and that'll give me a diamond sword and give me lore in it. As you can see, it pops up in the chat here, and you can see that it has its name and everything. When you hover over it in the chat, you don't have to have it in your inventory. So if you give somebody something, the people in the chat can be like, hey, what is that? Oh, cool. That's what it. That's what it is. I've got this sword here, but I don't know if, what I should do with it. Let me uh, let me figure out what I need to do. Oh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Let me just give you this. I think this is yours. There you go. All right. Now uh, <laughs> I can I can use my little friend here to do something. He's going to do the tell rar a uh, raw command. Sorry, and he's going to send me a little message here in the chat. 
and it's gonna say something here in a second. There we go, and you see it pops up. So you can do, I'll do the same thing to him so you guys can see. Tell raw, search directory, and uh, I can do anything. Hey, and it'll send them a private message like he did to me. It won't show up in the chat, it goes straight to that person. So now you can send people PMs through the chat system. Um, some other things, oh, this is pretty cool, chat spoilers, so I can make this little command here to do spoilers in the chat, and as you can see, it says this is a spoiler, and if you hover over it, it tells you what the spoiler is with the hover event command, and I, I did like, don't hover over that uh, if you don't want to see or whatever, but you can do stuff like that. Um, some of the other really cool commands, the new set block uh, feature, now it takes place of the summon command. People were doing summon falling sand entities to try to play stuff, but now you can use this, and it will set blocks. I set the stone block up here. But obviously you can use crazy commands, uh, like amounts of this, to, to generate entire structures and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you wanted to do more in this little chat block, what's really cool is that they removed the character limit. So now it used to be 256, but now it's been removed. So people can do insanely long commands in there and have them work. And uh, this is a funny little command here. I can do... To, uh, if I hit done, it pops up in the chat, so you guys can copy that if you need. But if you don't want a wooden button, hit it, and I spawned a stone button. <laughs> so you can spawn certain stuff, uh, blocks that were kind of hard to spawn in before, and uh, but now you can do that like so, because I don't know if you could do a falling sand entity for a button. Um, so yeah, there's all those. Uh, one really weird thing here, now the far lands, if, you've, if you know about that, it's any area past 30 million, in one direction and it will uh, generate really weirdly but now there's a new way that the farlands generate if you can see when I teleported it pushed me a little bit well these are the new farlands here I'm gonna fly up and show you and if I fly towards it I can figure out what direction it is it's this way it's not letting me fly if you see I'm at 29,999,999 right on the edge it won't let me go any farther but as you, like the trains not generating strange past then it just doesn't let you go farther but you can do a little bit of finagling here if I can do it. I'll go back into survival, and uh, if I can throw my ender pearl just right on the edge here. There we go. So, oh, I'm on the thing. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Now I'm at 30 million. This is as far as I can go. <laughs> so even if I was to throw my ender pearl, it would just fall through. The, the ground pass there is not solid, but it pushes you back out when you try to go through. So it's kind of strange, but... Uh, that's that's just how the far lands work these days. Uh, I guess they rather than just have you fall through something, they wanted to do a uh, just a solid wall to block you there. So let's I can illustrate this. Let's let's pu push this button here, and then I will just click this in the chat to go back in creative. There we go. So that's easy. If you're building or you want it to be daytime or nighttime, it's a good way to have these commands to like set it up, and then you can go back bef and forth between them. Uh, this little head here was. The uh, in the other video, the la the last snapshot I did, I believe, before the the cat sounds, uh, you can check that out. How to get these heads? You're basically just spawning in with a with a specific skull owner, and this is a new one. If you do MHF cake, you can get a little cupcake, kind of small cake there. So that's pretty cool. So there's also like test for block command was added, so it can test if there's a block there. Like all this is going to be very useful for map makers and people to try to. Uh, to you know, have more inventive stuff to do in the game. Uh, another thing that's that's a little unfortunate: the locked chest and other technical blocks have been removed. So if you've ever used the burnt, like ever burning furnace, or the weird uh, stone block that's kind of a different colored from the piston, lots of blocks like that have all been removed because I think they're trying to get rid of some of the bugs involved with those. So those are going to be gone from people's inventories unless they change that before 1.7 comes out. Some of the other bugs that they fixed in this were uh, pigmen were still spawning from uh, nether portals when I, it's on peaceful, so that should happen no longer. Water and ice were transparent on fast graphics for a little bit, but now they should be uh, see-through again. Yeah, as you can see, I can look through them. They're a little more boxy now on fast, but it almost looks like an ice cube tray. That's kind of cool. So uh, <laughs> I'll go back, out, back to fancy here like I'm used to. Um, the game would crash when you would go out uh, into the far lands a lot of the time, but they fixed that by adding that wall there. Uh, the flowers, they used to give ro uh, poppies or roses, and dandelions used to give you two dye, 
but now that the tall flowers here give you, like roses and lilacs, those give you two die, they standardize this, so you only get one die from any of the singular flowers. So you're gonna get less rose red and less uh, yellow die from dandelion yellow from those two, but it makes it more standardized, so it makes sense why they did that. Um, but that is pretty much it. They fixed some, some uh, stuff with the give command and everything, but a lot of it was getting all these commands worked out. We got the cool portals and stuff like that, and uh, the changes to the Mesa generation and everything. Hopefully they're not winding down already with 1.7 because we just got these uh, these snapshots going here, but they have been working on it for a lot longer than the last couple weeks, obviously, because they added so many new things. But uh, <laughs> I'm really hoping that we get more 1.7 features. I want more biomes, I want more stuff, I want mobs in the new biomes, that type of thing. But we'll see what Dinnerbone and Jeb get to. So as the sky darkens in the storm, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy this. And one last thing I want to show you here. Let me go down here and see if I can do it. I have this giant that uh, I spawned, and he's got a minecart on him. And I, c I should show you guys the command, just in case you want to do that. There it is, minecart rideable in a giant. And if I click in his neck, I should be able to jump in this minecart. It's a little tough to do, but I can get inside of him, which is very strange. But you can get in the minecart and then ride him around, and he can't hit you. There we go. So now I, oh, I accidentally got out, it looks like. Uh, he can't hit you when you're in him. There we go. So I can kind of ride around. And from the front, it actually looks like I'm like wearing a giant suit. If he'll, yeah, if he moves his head up, it's like I'm wearing a weird giant suit. I'm inside of him, controlling him. And he'll kind of go in the direction that you look. Like if I were to go in survival, he'll just kind of he'll move around trying to hit me. It's very hard to control, though, so it's not really that rideable. But there he goes, trying to run around and hit me. He can't get me, though, unless I jump out. And then he hits me. And I die. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I gotta get out of here. This giant's gonna get me. Um, how about a flower? Do you want a flower, buddy? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time for more Minecraft snapshots. Goodbye.